What's going on, everybody? Woo! Forgive me, I'm oily. I've got sunblock all over me because I just failed at a fishing video. But something came into the mail today, and I'm very, very excited to show it to you. Hey, quiet down. It's my dog. So let's open it up. Waste no time. Like and subscribe. If you like this knife, this is the Kershaw Oblivion. I got it. I actually got it from Walmart for 30 bucks. Uh, some people find, find it for 15. It, it all really depends on where you are. I am in Florida. When I was in, uh, where, gosh darn it, where was I? I think I was in Bradenton when I got this, but here it is. It's awesome. It's beautiful. I love it. That open action is fantastic. No, I'm not affiliated. I just like the knife. Okay. Comes in two packets. Or packages, I should say. All right. Well, I guess I should show you what it is. This is a multifunctional shovel. The shovel that I got is... I need to replace it. So, I'm replacing it. So, I'm just going to... So, here's the first part. Man, I love that color. I love that color. There's first part. Yes, I will take it out of here and show you. And then there's this second pouch. And this is very important, and I'll show you why momentarily. It's just a little cheap little canvas bag that it's in, but honestly, it's really all you need. I don't need the bag to be made of anything super substantial. Okay, here's the shape. You've got your hexes here, two different sizes. You've got your beer opener right there. Well, actually, that's a cord cutter. I bet you could also use it as a beer opener, though. A uh, bottle opener, I mean. <laughs> I say beer opener because that's the only bottle that I carry. Hilarious. All right, you got a sawed edge. These are, well, this, wait a minute. Neither side is sharp, but you could sharpen it. It's this side right here. This side, super sharp, it's like a blade. So you can, you know, cut wood with that. Either use it as an ax because it does lock. I'm going the wrong way. It does lock in place. You can do it that way okay as your traditional shovel there are extensions in here which i will show you and so now you could chop it wood that way you could feather wood that way it's sharp enough to do that that's a strong edge there um but there it is locks in place it looks freaking cool dude i mean design the, the design right here that's a little excessive but i guess you got to add some detail and i like it steel which i love this i believe is aluminum um, but holy crap, it's awesome. Now, if you want to use it the other way that you're used to seeing to dig just a small trench, then you would lock it that way. All right, so now it goes from shovel to a big hoe. <laughs> bing, bing. All right, so we're going to set that down like so. Open the second pouch. Did I mention I love the color? Because I do. That color is awesome, awesome. Okay, uh-oh, are we stuck in here? No, we're not. Am I missing pieces? Nope, I hear them in there. Okay, so we're gonna do, well, I wanna take all the extra pieces out so I can show you, so bear with me momentarily, poor favor. This is pretty similar to the hiking stick, actually, that I got. All right, so, let me put this back together. Stay with me. Stay with me. While you're waiting, you could like and subscribe. <laughs> All right. So we're going to start with the first one. So these extensions that you see here have the O-rings because they are airtight. They seal, waterproof, and that is awesome. So that technically gives you this compartment, this compartment, this compartment. So you've got three compartments which I love. All right, so we're gonna go with the part you probably saw that was obvious. Here is the end of the shovel. So at the end, you've got this big, big glass breaker here. You can't break glass with this. You're weak as all get out. Uh, but also, that's a bone breaker. Somebody comes at you, you hit them with this, that's a bad day for them. Okay, so there's that. You can unscrew the end and you get Ferro rod. I always love getting a ferro rod because any chance you can carry something to start a fire, you can't have too many ways to start a fire. I'm telling you that right now. And the more strikers you have, the better. 
screw that part off. The end of the ferrule rod is a whistle. There you go. <laughs> My dogs are going, they're looking at me like I'm crazy. Okay, so there's that. What comes in that is this here. So you've got your flathead and your Phillips. Uh, I don't know where you would use that in the woods, but I guess if you've got gear that you need to work on where this is useful, then you can do that. Um, I've even seen people in extreme situations use this to feather wood um, for fire tinder. So, I mean, I guess you could do that. I'm going to leave it out because when I put this stuff together, I don't want to hear it rattling. Um, so we'll just put that back up. Here's your other one. Okay. So that you can extend, get it on there, and we'll put it on the shovel in a second. The other thing it came with is this little attachment. This is freaking cool. This is a saw, also can be used as a fish scaler. Got your bottle opener right there. That actually is a bottle opener. And you've got this knife here with a crazy good edge on it, which is awesome. Cause normally you get these little gimmicky things and they're not very sharp, but this baby is. You put this somewhere. Oh, probably in the one that I took it off of. Whoops. I wanna screw it in for you so you can see it. So if we can figure out the one it goes in, there it is. So you just screw it into any one of these handle pieces and now you've got Fish scaler, bottle opener, knife if you're cutting food, skinning small game, something like that. This would be perfect for. Put this at the end of maybe the trekking pole that I have, and I've got a little fish gig or a spear, anything like that. So I'm super freaking stoked about that. And you can strike the ferro rod with it. Normally you don't want to do it with your blade. You want to do it with a flat end, maybe this. Right angle on it doesn't seem strong enough, but you know, you could do it or you could just use the shovel itself. So I'm not gonna put those in there right now. What we're gonna do is loosen this baby up, get it in shovel form at some point. Stay with me, like I said, like and subscribe while you wait. We're six subs away from a thousand. Come on, y'all, we got this. We got this. I'm gonna screw this baby in there. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. If you're still here, I love you. You guys are gangsters. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, here we go. And there she is. <laughs> this thing looks like a weapon. <laughs> I'm sorry. This thing looks like a weapon. It is heavy like a weapon too. But there you go, small shovel. You take these two off, you put it in the pack. You put this in, put it in the pack. It'd be nice if they put loops on this so you can keep the two packs together. Uh, but it is what it is. I like it you just need something basic i know you guys have like the folding saw i have the folding saw it's been whooped so it's time to get a new one so i got this one why did i not get a folding folding saw this was cheaper and i wanted it so i may end up with a folding saw still i may get one anyways um excuse me i may get one anyways just because i think it's useful and uh, it takes up a lot less space in a pack not that this takes up a lot of space but you need a shovel when you're going camping unless you want to dig fire pits out with your hands or sticks or anything like that having a shovel this is a small shovel it does not weigh that much i know i said it's heavy because this part is all steel and it's got a little bit of weight to it i would say it's probably two and a half three pounds and i know that doesn't sound heavy but for something this small it's kind of heavy but anyways so this is it and i i love it i love this color i think it's cool I may, this has got, I don't know what they call this, but the way that they cut that steel, so it's got good grip for when you're digging. Um, so I love it. I hope you guys like it. Thank you guys for watching this awesome review. We're six away from a thousand subs, um, at least at the time of recording this video. So like, subscribe. Guys, remember I'm not out here to buy the greatest of the greatest. I'm a budget shopper. I am just getting into camping and survival and EDC and all that stuff. And so you're not going to see the best of the best on this channel unless you're going to buy it for me. So that's it for this video. Guys, I love you all. Live your life. Live your truth. Go have fun.